kids? Like, what kind of shops did you go shopping, you know, to get sweets or whatever? Well, the main shop was on the corner of Thomas Street there. There was a woman, lady there, uh, Kathleen Brennan, and everybody knew Kathleen Brennan, but people used to have the book. You go in like my mother, because there were seven of us in it. You just go up and you get stuff on the book, bring up the book, and Kathleen, you get a few blares and a bottle of milk or something. And Kathleen is right into the book. Then my mother would go up and pay it on the weekend and that, you know. But Kathleen had a kind of a store out the back with potatoes and... Uh, fire brigades and things like that. <laughs> but uh, but that, that was the thing. If you didn't ha if you didn't have the book, then you were in trouble. You know because I worked in lodges at the corner there, and uh, would would uh, yeah, uh, win there a lot of work. She was the manager rest, and I don't think I got a full reach for ages there because we used to get the stuff on, on, t on take. And Laura used to say to me, Michael, you know, you'll have nothing at the end of the week. Yeah, that's all right. That's the way you know, it. It's going on the table, like, you know. That's the way it's right, like, you know. And uh, we worked, uh, I worked, myself and the brother worked in codes when they were down there. I worked in the, the big shop and facing, facing the cathedral and he worked in the, where um, Meteor is now, that he used to work there, and uh, delivering shoes and all that, you know. She cycled out to um, Dursley Convent, she had boxes. They, they were called um, to have a look at them, you know, you bring them all out to the nuns. They wouldn't come in to oh, no, the shoes. No, and you had to bring them out there. And they, pick, they might pick up one pair of shoes out of about 12 boxes up, the, up on the bike. And then you get a you have to go back out for the shoes. And you'd be coasting and swaying and go out the road. <laughs> you know, but the messenger boys, like, you know, we're all messenger boys, yeah. you know. I remember when I made the confirmation, the nun, one of the nuns came up with a pair of shoes uh, with laces. You know, to hear the father? Oh my God. So she said, there's a pair of shoes now for confirmation. And, uh, 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 and she said, oh, ma'am, you know my mother now, being a, a lady, so I <coughs> oh, so thanks, sister, thanks, sister. So I would wear them shoes. Went down with a lovely suit and then uh, wearing the lace shoes. So we went down anyway and we got a pair of shoes. And when, she got, when I walked into the cathedral, she said, Where's the shoes? She caught me by the coat. Where's the shoes? I said, my father won't let me wear them. She put me back at the end of the church. So I don't want nothing in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd be, up, I'd be up tomorrow, she'd with the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> she took them back. She wouldn't let me. No. Shoes, oh, no. shoes were very, uh, you know, you got shoes or you know, something, you know? Then you had Jim Stored and the barber. And Jim used to have his, um, the, the hairdressing place in there, like, you know. And that me you went to get your haircut? Oh, everybody went into Jim store. And remember going in, because he used to have a big chair, two big chairs, but when you went in as a child, he put his board across the chair, so you were sitting up nice and high for him, you know. And just on the other side of the pillars, there was a man there called a Mr. Verdiker, and he had a sweet shop that was, you know, practically on top of the cinema. But I remember what I remember distinctly about that man who used to go in there and his wife, and I can still see him to this day, he was a gentleman. He used to go in, he used to take the big blocks of ice cream out of the fridge and he used to say, Mr. Verica, could I have a, a sixpenny one or whatever? So he'd, he'd cut it with his eye, you know, and he put a big bit of ripple of in it and he put the wafer on it. Well, I needn't tell you, this was so nice, you wouldn't even feel like taking the first bite out of it because they'd be gone, you know.